My story really begins for me when I was very young and I remember us going from crop to crop. Uh, the people in the Ozarks around the Eldridge area, this is where my dad grew up, uh, they all called us the gypsy clan of the Jennings family. We had no roots. We let no grass grow under us because we went from crop to crop. Early in the spring we cut Spanish in Oklahoma. We went to Ball Knob, Arkansas and picked strawberries. And then we went to Manila, Arkansas, and we chopped cotton. And we worked very hard, and uh, my brother and I, Bill, we worked on the same road, chopping cotton. We worked 20 hours, and together we made $3. That was the wages in those days. And then when we became 12 years old, we got to work on a road by ourselves, and we made the big $3 a day. And of course, our dad took every dime we made and put it in his pocket, and he bought the groceries. And we lived just in bad places, but we didn't know, you know, everybody we knew lived like we did. So we didn't feel sorry for ourselves. We got up and went to work every morning. We was in the field by 6 a.m. We, we worked till 5 p.m. We'd take off for one hour at lunch. My mom would cook our dinner many times at the end of the field in a skillet on a campfire. We never lived in houses until in the years of 1951, 52, and from then on we lived in a house. We hardly, we didn't have no water inside. We walked up and down hills to get water. We didn't have no electricity even when we lived in the houses, but God was with us all through those years. We went through many times of hunger, and nakedness and pearl, as the Bible would say. And, but we were all together. We ended up with 14 children, and Mom and Daddy lost one little girl. And we had a hard life, but a great life, and I'm going to hush right now. Did I talk too long? From every day of it. 